Yo, what's up, people? Um, I just wanted to show off a cool little live wire technique. Oh, this is Daniel, by the way. Hey, what's up? Uh, I just wanted to show off a cool little live wire technique uh, for the sort of inputs where you have an input and then you need to create a bunch more. So I made a stupid little demo app because I can't show you the app I'm working on. Um, so this is like a demo stupid email app and we can go in here and edit an email you see we have like a title and a body and then we have recipients. So what I would expect is to be able to like type the name of a recipient in here and then hit add and then another line would be created and I could add multiple recipients and save them. So that's the goal. Um, let's go look at the code. So we have a messages table. Uh, messages has title, body, and then recipients is a JSON column. Right now it's nullable because I haven't built the thing yet, but it doesn't have to be. Um, so we have a JSON column called recipients, um, on our message model, uh, we have a cast, we're casting recipients as collection. You could also do, um, as array object if you wanted to, um, you could even do array, but, uh, I just like the count method, honestly. So that's why I'm doing as collection. Um, and then we have a... Uh, in our web.php, we have three routes. So we have uh, messages, which is the index, which just returns a view. Um, and then we have message new, which returns a live wire component message. Uh, and then we have messages slash message, which is the message edit, which also returns the same live wire component message. I know, it's crazy. Um, so, here is our LiveWire component. So we've got the rules in here for message.title is a string, message body is a string, message recipients is an array, and then message recipients.star has to be an email. Uh, so that is the deal there. And then save just does this message save. Um, and then here's a little bit of magic. This isn't even the main tip, but this is another sexy tip for you. Um, this actually needs to be this. Um, so this basically says, if I'm getting a message, then this message is that message. Otherwise do message model make, and message model is just the message from before. Um, this is really sexy because it lets you use the same component for your edit and create pages. Um, and it basically just like makes a model. Um, and then as you're wire modeling to all of these uh, attributes on your model throughout the uh, throughout the session. Then eventually, when you call save, it saves that model and it actually gets pushed into the database. And another crazy thing: um, say your message had like a relationship, like uh, whatever, like uh, message dot uh, sender. Let's say that was a user, and then you wanted to like change the user's name or something. Um, you would need to come up with like a way to, uh, or whatever string, you would need to come up with a way to like update the name in here, right? So you could do um, this.message.user save or something, right? But now you've got two lines and it's gross. And what if there's multiple thing, what if there's multiple um, relationships and all that crazy stuff? So crazy method I just learned about, shout out to Eric, my buddy. Um, if you just use push here instead of save, it just like saves the model and its relationships. So enjoy that. But we don't need that right now. So we're gonna delete all this. Okay, so we have recipients, which is an array, and recipients.star, which is an email. So if we're gonna go into our uh, live wire component, and you see we've got our title, which is an input. We don't even need this type text. Um, we have an input, wire model, message.title, and we've got uh, recipients, which is an input, wire model to nothing right now, and then a button that says add, which doesn't do anything. Then we've got our text area, wire model to message.body. So just to show you that it works right now, I'm going to add an exclamation point here and a couple of exclamation points here. I'm gonna hit save, and then I'm going, oh, I'm gonna fix this typo here. 
hit save again. And I'm just gonna refresh and you're gonna see all of those are there. And if I, if you really wanna see it in the database, I can uh, drag it over. So you'll see, um, if I refresh, there's an exclamation point. If I remove the exclamation point and save, boom. So that's updating. Um, so we can now worry about this recipients thing. So how are we gonna add these recipients? So you'll see both of these emails already have this one has one recipient, this one has a few recipients. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. Right off the bat, we are going to go ahead and do a for each, um, for each uh, message, uh, what are we calling this? Message recipient as recipient. And then we're just gonna grab this input from down here, drop it in here. And for each. Um, and because this is a an array, but it's a JSON column, so if it's null, it still comes back null. It doesn't come back as an empty array. So we just need to do here, like if message recipients count, which is kind of annoying and there's probably a better way to do that, but uh, that's what I've come up with right now, right? So uh, we're gonna do that. So now we'll see if we go in here, end for each, unexpected end for each. Why are you mad about end for each? I am not sure why it's mad about end for each. Expecting end of file. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna figure this out and come back in a second. All right, I'm an idiot. Uh, there's an extra for each. I just added end for each twice for some reason. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, so I'm going to uncomment these things because I was debugging. Okay. All right, so now you'll see it's added an input for each of these. So uh, we can also add an index here. And then we can just wire model these straight up to message.recipients. Oh, that's supposed to be a dot, dot index. All right, so now there's all of the recipients that exist, and then we still have our empty one down here. Um, let's all, let's give these all like a little margin, just to feel a little more comfortable. Um, okay, so we've got that, and then we need to make this thing work. So this is where it gets really, really crazy. Check this out. Oh, we also need to give these keys uh, just because Livewire. Um, that should work. So just give it the same key. All right, then down here, we're just going to, actually, let's just call this like recipient dash index. How about that? Um, so then down here, we're also gonna give this one a key. And then for our wire model, we're gonna do something crazy. We're gonna go this, or not this, uh, message recipients count. So that's gonna give us, if there are three recipients, that's gonna give us three. Because indexes start from zero, three is the last index that doesn't exist in our array. So we're gonna say wire model, message.recipients. Message recipients count. And then if this doesn't exist, in case of an empty array, we're just gonna say zero. And then we're gonna copy this same 
thing here. <clears throat> and I think we're good. So I'm going to start typing. Oh, OK, so we're not good. Here's the issue. Uh, I need to wire model defer this, because otherwise it's not going to let me finish typing. It's going to add this to the thing right away. So I'm going to refresh. It's gone, because I never saved it. And on my wire model here, I'm just going to make this wire model dot defer. So what that's going to do is basically say, don't uh, send an update request every time I type. Instead, wait until another update request is happening, and then send it along with that. So now we're going to go, Daniel at Kolb.com. OK, cool. So I can type successfully. So now, how are we going to trigger this wire model defer? Oh, we're just going to do the very simple thing. We just need to send another request. So we can just go wire colon click equals refresh right there. So we're going to reload it. We're going to say Daniel at Kolb.com. We're going to hit add. Boom, it's there. This is empty. Now I can say hi at test.com. Boom, it's there. It's empty. If I hit save, boom, I'm going to reload. Look at that. I reloaded and it's there. It worked. It worked. OK, you think that's crazy. But then you're like, OK, well, what about like removing things, right? Like say you want to remove Elon and you save it and you reload. Oh, no, but now there's just an entry there that's empty. OK, well, here's the solution I've come up for this. You could do some crazy stuff where you could like you could add like a remove button here that like unsets that number in the array or something, which is fine. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, but I think this is a little bit sexier, um, at least for the, what I like right here in our save method. We're just going to go this message recipients filter and then because we need to reset the indexes we'll say values so now i to reload this if i hit save oh right you can't just straight filter it i forgot value oh, this is not javascript function value and then we have to say value uh value this is a dollar sign i've been writing a lot of javascript <laughs> value is not equal to an empty string. So we're just going to filter out all the ones that are empty strings and then return values. So I'm going to reload. I'm going to hit save. Why is it not working? Um, oh, I have to set this. So this message recipients equals that. Save, boom, the empty ones go away. So now I remove myself, I hit save, I'm gone. Hey, one more thing. Uh, I realized that we just, this is like a cut I was editing and then I realized I forgot to show you something. So um, also like I never showed off the fact that my uh, compose works, except it doesn't. Why doesn't it work? It doesn't work because, oh, I know. Um, so here we did this, um, if message recipients count here, we just need to do question arrows because oh, not there. Uh, we need to do question arrows here, here, and there because this might not be set. So in that case, it will just go to null, which will still get caught by the null, null coalesce and will still become zero. So we do that. We reload this. Okay, cool. So this is my messages slash new. So if I hit this new message, so here, right where at messages slash one, this is getting route model binded. Um, and so all of this stuff is happening. But if you recall in our component, in our mount method, we're, here's, we're doing the route model binding, right? We get the model, we set it. But if it's null, uh, then we're doing a message model dot make. So in this case, we're hitting new message. Uh, it's actually just pushing down like an empty message model now. So we can go ahead here and do like a brand new thing like, let's take over the world. 
to like pinky at lab and brain at lab. What do you want to do tonight? And then we'll save. And then if we go back to our outbox, let's take over the world. So anyway, um, just showing off that that little thing works. This is kind of like two tips in one, right? There's the, the recipients like multi input select thing, but then also just like the way I think you should do CRUD in Livewire, which is like just shove, uh, <laughs> just shove like a model into your component up here and then just like mess with it and then do a save or if you have relationships, do a push. So yeah, that is it. I think I'm actually done now. All right, goodbye.